friends, Rhonda and Jess here from Empower Personalized Fitness, where we help people and communities lead stronger, healthier, and happier lives through personalized fitness plans. Hey, today we wanna to talk to you about an important concept, and that concept is how fitness is a journey and how you must evolve as you continue down that path. Just like everything else in life, we are always changing, and therefore your workout should too. So today we wanna give you three examples of when, why and how your fitness plan should change. And the first example of when you should change your workout is if you're not getting the results that you want. So many people are trying really hard to change something about their bodies or their health. And they might get to a point where they plateau or things are just not really working. So one of the first things that you need to ask yourself, if that's the case for you, is that are you working out frequently enough? We at, like to have our clients strive for five and that's five workouts every week. Um, another time, another thing you need to ask yourself is, am I working out with the right intensity? Um, oftentimes we find that it's hard to challenge ourselves and so sometimes working out with a workout partner and or hiring a personal trainer can help really push you a little bit because intensity is one of the factors that can really help you kind of push through plateaus and also get things uh, back on track for you. And then the third thing you really kind of need to ask yourself is that have you been doing the same things over and over? Our bodies really adjust to things that we do on a regular basis so it might be time to switch things up because variety is the spice of life and it is also true with your exercise plan. Absolutely. All right, the number two example is when you've had an injury or a health condition come up. If you're an active person, it's likely that you will experience some sort of injury or setback from time to time. And even if you're not, it's just part of life that we may tear poor a hamstring or you might be at a point where you need a joint replacement like a knee replacement or a hip replacement or maybe you just simply turned your ankle walking. Whatever the case may be, this is a time when you definitely need to think about about altering your workout plan. If you have pain, then that is definitely an indication to stop. But it doesn't mean that you can't be active at all. You might be able to find exercises that you can work around that particular body part and still have an effective, still be effective and still be moving. When you have some sort of injury, you need to know what sort of exercises are safe and those that are contraindicated. And that's something that a personal trainer can definitely help you navigate. Yes. And the third time when your workout plan really needs to evolve is as we age. Now, this is something that Rhonda and I are now experiencing Very personal. personally. <laughs> when we first started out as trainers, we, we you know learned about this in school and we had the experience of training other people who had gone through the aging process. We hadn't experienced it ourselves so much. And now as we hit mid forties, we can <laughs> definitely say we have. Um, and so a lot of things change, right? Our hormones are changing. We become stiffer and less mobile. And it's important to really kind of take all of that to, into consideration when you're thinking about how you work out. And so here are some things that we really, really recommend is as you age, one, do not stop strength training. Oftentimes, uh, we, as we get older, we may tend to lean more towards like walking and swimming and biking and all of those activities are fine, especially if you enjoy them. But we highly recommend that you continue strength training. As you age, part of the age process is losing muscle, muscle mass and also um, bone density. And so strength training is a really key Key component to helping you keep your muscular strength and um, your bone strength. So keep strength training is number one. The other thing is to you have to start to build mobility um, exercises into your <laughs> workout because we become stiffer. Oftentimes life has sort of taken over, we have more stationary jobs, and it's really important that we spend some time moving our bodies through full ranges of motion. And mobility is more than just simply flexibility. It's the body's ability to move through these full ranges of motion fluidly and under control. So it actually means the kind of combination of flexibility and strength and control. So number one is strength training, number two is mobility training, and number three is we have to incorporate some moderate or restorative practices. Um, a lot of this ties into what's happening with our hormones and even just the stressors of life. In fact, exercise is perceived by the body as a stressor. And so if we have a really high, you know, stressful job and there's stress at home and we have all of this stress around us, and then we just go and exercise intensely all the time, then again, our body is getting overloaded with um, these stress 
uh, stressors and therefore causing cortisol, which is a stress hormone, to spike. And that can wreak havoc on our bodies, especially if you're trying to lose weight or um, even just feel feel good and feel healthy. And so it is important to have some practices that aren't so high, aren't so high in intensity, that um, really help us feel more relaxed. Um, especially getting outside could be really really important um, with the, with these types of exercises or restorative practices. So again, aging is an, your aging process, and is another time. And as you're getting older, it's another time to really think about changing some of your workout. All right. So there you have it. There's are three reasons of when, why, and how your exercise programs should change as your fitness journey evolves. Number one was if you're not getting the results you want. Number two is if you've experienced a recent injury or setback. And number three is as you're aging. And if you would like help, if you have had any of those experiences and you would like help kind of how to change your program, we have expert personal trainers here who would love to help you. And you can get started at Empower at becomepowerful.com slash free and receive a free initial session.